What is up guys? Welcome once again to the channel. This time I'm going to be checking out the Optimize 21 event, which is a Aspen Tech event for all the upcoming trends, especially on APM, which is Asset Performance Management Tools, which is how we use nowadays software in order to improve and optimize the production or manufacture of very, like lots of equipment, lots of uh, factory products lines and so on and also what's coming on with respect to artificial intelligence so if you're into Aspen Tech products or maybe you're just wondering what else is Aspen Tech doing I'm pretty sure you will enjoy this event and the best thing is that is currently for free or let's say it's a uh, freemium you want to get access to the uh, live trainings you need to pay I think right now it's $150 but you can get access to the lectures, no problems. That's for free. And let's check it out. So here it is. You can enroll or register at optimize2021.com. And the most important part is that uh, this is an actual event or let's say exposition uh, that has been going on through the years on Aspen Tech Behalves, but because of the pandemic, this time it's going to be 100% online. As you can see it here, it's a virtual experience from the 18th to the 20th of May of this year. And let me, this is just like a overview of what's up with the event. Uh, you can do it for yourself. I will be posting all the things in the video description but for now let's check it out optimize 2021 is the premier global event for executives and operational leaders within capital intensive industries so i like it how they leave it open but actually this is mostly for oil and gas bulk chemical fine chemicals pharma biotech all those very like huge companies that are manufacturing and are much more related into process engineering, chemical engineering, or anything related to oil and gas that's also important. Energy generation, all these like very important industries. And for me, it's very great to see that this is literally the trend. So you will see what are the trending topics in these type of industries. So if you're a student, it's great because you will see what's happening right now. I will have loved to see this as I was studying because I didn't knew or know anything on the industry. So I just thought I'm going to go to the chemical plant and I will be moving machine parts and process. But right now we all know that technology is super uh, on edge. It's like always going for more. And we all think on chemical engineering and process engineering of not being like on top of the line, but that's not true. Actually, there's a lot of things going on, a lot of artificial intelligence, a lot of APM happening, a lot of like lots of tools going into automation. So let's check it out. What else do we have here? Okay, I already registered, but just in case if you want to register, it's pretty straightforward. You just add your name, business information, phone, uh, email, job title. I think, yeah. I think you need a business email, which I don't think is that great because a lot of students will not be able to attend. But maybe if you use your university email, that might help. You fill up all the information and you should get your confirmation uh, email and you will be, uh, let's say, already enrolled or registered. This is going to happen as stated before in May, but I really love it because it's pretty straightforward. 35 days for the event. So let's see what's up with this. Discover how industrial artificial intelligence will enable a new era of autonomy and the self-optimizing plant. So as a process engineer or former process engineer, self-optimizing plant sounds great in the sense that, of course, you don't want to be working that much in to improve or making improvements to the process. But, of course, you don't want to be replaced by artificial intelligence. I'm pretty sure some jobs are going to be indeed uh, substituted by machines or artificial intelligence. But, of course, there's always going to be one final human decision or engineer, let it be. So, hopefully, we are there on the uh, chain of how it goes 
all these automation processes, which are already it's happening, but I do think it's going to be happening very faster or quicker nowadays. Drive safety and sustainable by maximizing your efficiency and reliability. Okay, so efficiency, you know it. You want to produce the most with the least. And reliability, you want to ensure certain amount of production in the future. And whenever you fail, it's because you are receiving raw materials that are failing or your process has any type of, let's say, down procedures, for instance, maintenance or worst, having some problems with machines and equipment. Okay, gain the operational agility and flexibility needed to respond quickly to changing market needs and enable new business models. So this is great. And I really think the pandemic is a great example. So there is, let's say, let it be product A, B and C in a company. And let's say that A was uh, let it be more into actual logistic of products. Let it be, be a product which is something more of final consumer at home or domestic use. And let it let be a C be a product which is used in airlines. When the pandemic hit, the company had to adjust because there's going to be way less traveling in airplanes. So, of course, the product that was intended for airline use was or is not that relevant, but most likely people is going to stay home. So you need to increase line B. So that's what's happening right here. Guys. You need to be able to shift and companies that do this the quickest or fastest or that adapt are those that will uh, end up uh, having the best, let's say, profit shares or adap adaptations to the market. And I really like it. Top reasons to attend. If my recommendation is not enough, guys, you can read this. You will, well, this complimentary registration means that this is either free or you can access the trainings, which are of cost, but I, I'm pretty sure they might be interesting in the sense that if money is not that uh much for you you can check it out and i'm pretty sure you're going to have top specialists or top uh subject matter experts on that so why not go for it a lot of energy chemical pharma biotech metals mining epc and more so that this is what i was telling you guys this is like for the big companies epc stands for engineering procurement and construction uh, thousands of attendees from 60 countries so that's also great this is not only America or only maybe Europe this is all around the world because companies or a lot of manufacturing is occurring all around the world as well plenary sessions with industry leaders so that's I'm going to be checking out the speakers right now but it's very heavy and interesting profiles expert presentations and use of case studies. So nothing best than getting hands-on information on an actual industry, problems that are happening and solutions of the nowadays engineer. Access to Aspen Tech leadership and technical experts. I stated before guys, if you think it's worth it because of the money, I really think that's nothing best that go directly with Aspen Tech, which are literally the leaders on this field. Live panel discussion and Q&A. Hopefully we can ask some questions, especially I would really love if they had this section for students. I really think this type of events is so focused into actual business or leader business as stated here. It's like you can read it from the moment you read this is the premier global event for executives and operational leaders. So definitely students are not that much considered, but I would really love to have at least some section for students or young people that may want to have some words or questions on this. And as I said before, on-demand trainings. Okay, so let's check out quickly the agenda. Okay, agenda at a glance and full agenda. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, so three days, well, three and a half, I will say. It's Tuesday, full day. Actually, I want to check this out. This is the future it starts with the industrial artificial intelligence. This is going to be done or presented by Antonio Pietri, which is the president and CEO of Aspen Tech. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be this uh, keynote on the actual vision of Aspen Tech and AI 
in the industry. So definitely they have some word or uh, Aspen Tech has been here for long or a lot of times. So I'm pretty sure what they think the industry is going for is most likely what's happening. But if you're into sustain, let's say environment, okay, sustain. There are some stuff on environment and sustainability imperative, the new era of autonomy and sustainability fueled by the AI, energy and water efficiencies. Okay, overall, let's see energy then, some energy as well, let's say process or optimization. Okay, actually, oh yeah, they have the color right here, keynotes or this blackish or dark blue key industry topic artificial intelligence actually if i had to decide i will go for these two the purple one and the ai one so i really want to know how, how the industry is adapting to these new trends or a production and value chain optimization that's i would say the typical process engineering task on producing and of course improvement improving the uh, process B optimization. So that's very really like uh, not old school, I would say classical for the engineer, which when I say classical doesn't mean that it is not important. I actually mean it's like what we have been doing since long time ago. A little bit on mining, a little bit on pharma. Ah, actually, they are new, so that's great. Maybe I, I haven't assisted to previous events, so I don't know if pharma and biotech are new or not, but that's great to hear medical and mining. Some live training go globals. Okay, we can check out some trainings. I think these are the trainings that you gotta pay for. Yeah. So very quickly, if you are into this, as stated before, it's 150 USD. What I I don't know if you can access all the trainings or is it only one included? So. Okay. Yeah. Each. So the registrants can take these exclusive classes for a rate of 150 USD each. So if you're just going to go for one, you could select one that interests you the most. And this is the thing I wanted to show you guys. We are always thinking on Aspen Plus and we think Asp Aspen Plus and HiSys is the like core elemental values of Aspen Tech. But actually, as you can see, this is only Aspen Plus rate based model to design and optimize carbon capture. Let's go for HiSys. Once again, this is only one product right here. And what you will see, actually let's check out the products. There are many products. Most likely you are not that uh, familiar with those. Make no worries, that's normal. We get in touch with Aspen Tech Software because of the simulation software, not that much into the actual software that is used in the industry. So Aspen One, supply chain management. Aspen Plus, as stated before, Aspen Multi-Case, Aspen Capital Cost Estimator. You could say that this is Aspen Plus overall. OptiPlan 3D, Aspen Plus Unified PIMS, Aspen Unified Scheduling, Aspen Fidelis, Aspen Pro MB, Aspen Basic Engineering, Aspen Hybrid Models, Hisis, which is one that we all know, Aspen DMC3, Aspen Inferential Qualities, and Aspen Batch APC. Well, actually, there's a lot more. Aspen GDOT, Aspen MES Collaborative, and finally, Aspen MTEL. So that's great. If you're into other softwares, maybe uh, you started using HiSys and then you are ending up in oil and gas. And I'm pretty sure if they're using HiSys, most likely they have these tools, or at least one other tool. Go check it out. So for now, I click this rate-based model to design and optimize carbon capture. So let's check it out here. And apparently, this is like a training. Actually, I had it already as a, my favorite. So I'm pretty sure that this is already a course or training that existed before the actual Optimize 2021. So that's great. And just in case you were wondering, this is if you were to take this in any other day, it will be 350 USD. So it's great that if you attend this uh, optimized event, you will get it for 150, which is a little bit less than 40% its cost. Okay. And one thing I wanted to show you guys before we end up the video, 
are all the speakers which I really had some googling on them and they are like top of the line or very heavy profiles into process, manufacturing and industry overall. And I really like it because you can just like open them and if you're into one, let's say, yeah, Accenture is a classic one you will check. If you're into consulting, you can go for McKinsey. If you're in oil and gas, Philips 66 or Sabic. If you are into, let's check more, more Accenture, Saudi Aramco, Evonik. So there's a lot of companies and you can check them out. So for now, let's check the most important one or the central one, which will be the president or CEO of Aspen Tech. So you can check out more on his informa information, a little bit on his background and more on his vision and what's going to be happening here, the sessions. The future starts with industrial AI. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the central one, especially for us that are not that familiar. We want to check out what's going on, what's happening and so on. Session agenda, the future of pharma. Okay, so there's a lot of like interactions of Mr. Pietri. So that will be great to check out as well. So if you're into some, I don't know, if you're currently working at Accenture or you want to apply to McKinsey or I don't know, the oil and gas industry is for you, you can check out these uh, speakers, presenters. And what I wanted to show you guys lastly is okay, trainings, just in case you were wondering the type of training. Oh yeah, we're gonna check this, some facts. The most obvious question will be, is this going to be forever or is it only live or is it going to be on demand? I already checked this out and it's going to be on demand. So of course live and then on demand is going to be recorded, but only until the last day of June. So I think you will have six weeks to check all the content if you register which I do think is great. Uh, I really, I'm, I am a fan of having these like limits because if it's forever, you're not, you're never going to check it out. So, so guys, if, if this is forever, I'm pretty sure that we will never check it out. So having a deadline, it's, it's a reasonable deadline. You have six weeks. These are a total of three days. You can have half a day per week. And I don't know, maybe one per day, one speak uh, or conference per day will be good good enough, I think, especially if you just want to have some knowledge on what's happening in the industry. And guys, this is what I wanted to show you. Let me know if you're going to attend and it will be great to share some ideas or if there's going to be some community or something like that, try to attend and ask some questions, exchange uh, networking information and all that. So for now, guys, that will be it. Take care and I'll see you in the Optimize 21. Bye bye.